Hi folks, another daily vlog. We're down at the unit again. Let's show you what we're doing now to prepare the RS Turbo after it's been sprayed. See you in a minute. Right, as you can see now, the RS Turbo is been sprayed, the roof has been sprayed, and what Jim is doing at the moment is just going around and just doing a little few D nibs. It's covered with dust at the moment, you probably can't see that. But uh, if we come around the other side, try and get the light, as you can probably see there, there's the a bit of dust on it at the moment, as you can probably see there. But there's the finish on the roof. This was the line, as you can see, if you remember rightly, along there where the uh, world marks were and as you can see totally you wouldn't even know now so that's ideal he's just rubbed down a little bit there as you can probably see that's with a bit of a 1500 paper there he had a little nib there that will all polish out lovely and he's done half of the bonnet this was the state of the bonnet i don't know if you can catch in the uh, light there how sort of bad the bonnet is there i'm not too sure There's plenty of scratches on it and whatever and then if you look at this half totally different so just with a buff up he really improved the quality of the original paint there as you can probably see there so well worth doing this the car whole car didn't need painting but uh yeah absolutely lovely so what we got to do today then mm -mm. i know you're eating but what we got to do fit the tailgate fit the tailgate yeah and polish them bike panels on it. all oh, right so we're going to do that as well so as you know we've got the uh kawasaki bike panels to buff up and polish as well You've seen them the other day, but um, yeah, we've just got to do that. There's no work I'm going to be able to do today on my uh, Reliant Regal, as you've probably seen now. Again, looking sorry for itself. There's nothing I can do about that. That's just got to wait. A little bit of a funny story for you. My friend Lee, as you know, in a few of my other videos, well, it was Father's Day here in the UK. Fantastic weather last night, all day yesterday. And uh, he phoned me up that he, he was on the way down to Cambridge to pick up a piece of furniture with his trailer and he got about 35 miles away from where I live and uh, he said that the, the rear wheel on the trailer had actually blown out and shredded basically. So I had two wheels, I had one of the Reliant wheels and also a spare Triumph for claim wheel. Anyway, I took them, I drove the 30 miles, 35 miles to uh, change the wheel over. When we got there, it was a wrong size wheel. But to leave the trailer there, take the old wheel back home and come back obviously first thing this morning. And I said I'd go with him first thing this morning. So we drove the 30 miles back there again and uh, with the intention of finding a local garage tire place to put the new tire on. When we got there, someone's only nicked the blinking trailer. We left it on the side of the A16 on the way to, uh, I think it was past Spalding, on the way to Spalding in a place called Cow, Cow Bit, C-O-W-B-I-T. So someone's nicked his trailer. And when we found the exact spot, they'd left my little jack there. I only had a little scissor jack that I'd uh, jacked it out with. And they'd left, left my jack there, but they'd nicked his bleeding trailer. How rotten some people are, some people are, aren't they? Unbelievable. Obviously, there was a problem with a puncher. If someone would have pulled, so what's happened between sort of half past six last night and then sort of 10 o'clock this morning, someone's obviously pulled up behind it, seen that it's got one wheel missing, and obviously it's jacked up. Now you'd normally say to yourself that, Oh, someone's got a puncher, they're going to be back for that. So obviously weren't dumped, and they've nicked it, they've taken it. So he was a little bit upset on the strength for that. So anyway, that's Lee for you.
getting sweaty in here. Yeah, it's a bit sweaty, isn't it? You waffling in the background. Waffling? Oh, that's what I was looking for. It. He's got it, look. He dropped a nut inside and he's trying to blame me. Tell him why I'm trying to blame you. Hey? Tell him why I'm trying to blame you. Why? Because he moved from the hinge when it wasn't even done up. <laughs> he, nut on it. he pretended that the nut was on and it weren't. He's blaming me for it. Unbelievable. And he's getting hot and sweaty inside the car because it's over 31 degrees. So he's blaming me. What's sweat on your head? Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Lucky you've got my ratchet spanner there though. <laughs> you dropped that, look, eh? Hey? You ain't got none. Where'd you get that from? Where'd you get that from? You aren't doing it again. Yeah, I'm not. Give me a chance. Hey? Give me a chance. You're only getting ratty because you're hot and you didn't want to do that job because you've got to lean over. You wanted me to do that yeah, job. Yeah, it's hurting my sunburn as well, like oh, I said. Oh dear, well whose fault's that? Again, he got sunburnt yesterday and he's blaming me again. Unbelievable. Right, you ready? You want to see if it shuts? All the cables are now back in. It's just a matter of connecting them up. Lucky enough, we colour coded them. Isn't that right, Jimmy? <laughs> He's got an answer for everything. He doesn't realise over the years, as an electrician, how many wires I've pulled in in my life. Thousands, literally thousands. And how many times we've had walls to get through or buildings to get through where there's conduits and ductings and trunkings and with hundreds of cables in and you don't see that but anyway that's not me complaining that one goes up there and lucky enough they can only go on one way what's that sweat coming off your head? I told you I'm sweating here that's not fear though, Jimmy. That's sweat because it's 31, 32 degrees outside. This thing here, I'm not too sure exactly what this is, but this looks like maybe something to do with a central locking mechanism and that screws on that one, so. Right, I'm sweating now. I'm gonna cool down. Jimmy started work on the, uh, the tank to prepare that, so let's have a look at that. Right, as you can see here, what he's doing is just, what did you do this with, scuff, scuff, scuff paste? Right, this one he's taken down now, as you can see, with 1500 paper. He's take, just taken out a little bit of orange peel on that, and uh, even though it might look quite drastic, when it's polished up, it's gonna look absolutely lovely. You're, you sit out of the gun yesterday, in the last vlog, and as you know, that was just at the out of the gun. But what Jimmy's doing now is just that little bit more attention to detail, and making the surface more like a custom finish rather than a factory finish. In other words, just taking a little bit of the orange peel out just to enhance the, uh, the beauty of the finished product. He's also done it on the side there, as you can see, in the main areas. You haven't got to go over absolutely everything, just your main areas, because once it's buffed up, it's going to really, really make it pop. So what do you reckon about Lee's trailer then? Well, you can have it back for 50 quid. <laughs> what a thing people do though, isn't it, eh? You left it there from sort of 6.30 6 last night on a Sunday evening. We went back there, we got there about half past 10 this morning, I suppose. But to take it, they've obviously seen that the wheel was off it. In fact, he's going to watch this. And I hope you feel sorry for him, people, because, you know, he ain't had it long. He's only had it probably about two months, and he's used it really a lot, and he's cleared a lot of rubbish away. And now he's back to, well, collecting rubbish around the house, I suppose. Hasn't he? Yeah. Unbelievable, poor son. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that I'm actually sweating here, look. Unbelievable. It's not that I'm working hard. We had a shower last night when I come in from Lee. About seven, eight, nine o'clock last night. I come out of the shower, dry myself off, and I was still soaking wet within two minutes. How about that? Anyway, let's have a little quick look around the uh, RS Turbo and just see what he's got left to do. Right, well, as you can see, he's still buffing. He's still got a lot to do here. He's not going to do too much on this today. Uh, we've got the main thing on now, which was the tailgate. As you can see, we've done that now. He's just going to finish buffing off the whole car and cutting back.
but uh, for the moment he's just decided to get the bike panels finished today that means he can get them out then and they can go back to the uh, the client who's waiting for these to rebuild uh, a lovely Kawasaki Z900 I mean someone I keep calling it a Z1 I know but this is actually someone corrected me and they said it's the Z900 I know that I'm aware of that as I say because uh, I grew up with these bikes as well but it's just me I call it a decal I think Dave Jaguar Dave I know you might be watching this I know they're decals but I call them decals and that's what I've always called them and sometimes I say oh, I brought something when I'm going down the road I brought this I know it's bought but it's just what I do I get things wrong now and again I'm allowed that Jimmy and I not the way you go on about it you're not hey not the way you go on about it you're not that's why you're never wrong he's forever listen right he's telling me about pulling these cables through this back of that that hut hat, hat what's it called hatch hutch I've done literally thousands and thousands of cables in my life where I've had to pull them through yeah and you get a little bit stressy because you're sitting inside a hot car with your head back like that yeah I've done all that I've been where you are now. Anyway, I need you to hand hold what? one. I need a hand. You need a hand of hot what? Polish in the tank. You know right, we're, are you going to buff it? Yeah. Coming in. It's uh, just gone four o'clock now on this hot summer's day and we're gonna call it a day now. That's gonna be finished off tomorrow, buffed up and all that, and that'll be ready to go. So there's two jobs that are gonna go out today. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, vlog update and we'll see you again in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and pass me videos around and press that old like button if you like what you see and we'll see you again in the next video. And until then, bye for now.